What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? It is I, James. Redoptionagency.com, 22 years selling full-time on eBay. And I am trying to get rid of this. Hawaii. Uh, this nine six seven five three nine six seven. This uh, true gather order. Get this done first. I always seem to forget them since they're sent to a different you know, email, or not a different email, but a different inbox. So I always forget them. Um, we've got a pair of Prada sunglasses. That Jan found at the bins. So that so the Prada right there, made in Italy. All the good stuff on the insides to identify it. Uh, these sold for eighty dollars on True Gather. So, biggity bam there. Um, one thing I forgot to, well, yeah, I guess I forgot to mention it yesterday, too. Um, like yesterday, I was having problems even right off the beginning before I started a video, accepting orders. Like, it would air out again like it used to in the past. So, I'm like, no, there seems to be an offer or issue with the offers again. And... My last offer was last night at 11.30. We are at 9.30 right now. So. Offers are uh, not working at the moment, it appears. They be, they be having issues again. It seemed like it might have been fixed there for a minute. And then it just... Back to square one. Who knows? Whatever update they did, I guess, killed him again. You stop jumping in my way. How dare you? Print this out. So we got a little bit to ship out here. And another thing I always forget to do is add the tracking to PayPal and to True Gather. You would think PayPal would have come a long way since eBay used them, but they seem to have gone backwards when it comes to user interface. Then again, so is eBay. So <laughs> seems like everybody goes backwards instead of forwards with technology. Everything takes more time. But I guess that's how you sell ads. People have to spend more time doing something on your site. That gives you your retention time higher, which means you can charge more for ads. So that's probably why they slow us down. laying on that cold floor okay so yesterday as you know we started out really slow but i feel i was in god i'm so straggly in that uh in the upper bracket of the impressions the little uh pattern i saw and talked about yesterday 
So I ended up making it to $729. So still in that up pattern, the 1 million impression pattern. We'll call it the 800 imp 800,000 impression pattern, the 1 million impression pattern. Usually before in the past, when you got more impressions, you got lower sales. So this is a totally different pattern than I've ever seen before. Um, which could be good. It could mean it's more stable, which means you can build off of it if that's possible. Meaning if you raise your percentage and you raise those patterns, then you might get more in those patterns. So it could be a positive thing that I'm seeing this pattern. Um, so we're going on 930 and I'm at $84 right now. So let me look at the traffic yesterday. About 900,000 impressions. So, uh, 47 items sold, 27 promoted, 20 organic. The day before, 47 items sold. Difference there, though, 41 promoted, 6 organic. So a better split yesterday, same amount of items. I always find that eerily odd, being I have so many items. Definitely over 57,000 now. I just don't know the exact number because the eBay numbers are all messed up again. It was right for a while on my seller hub, and then it went... A wall again so back to not knowing exactly how many items I have in my store today is what Tuesday what do I want to look at let me uh, look at sales for this year see where we're at and then maybe this month this year compared to last year so we're still down 21% so still down in that 20% area. Just not getting out of that. Let's see this month compared to last month. Up 10%. So that's good. Questions and comments? I ended up going back to bed after I fed and gave him his medicine. And now I feel worse than I probably should have just <laughs> stayed up. <sighs> so I gotta wake up. Uh, you still don't know what you're doing. I would have gotten 47.50. Gotta love clowns. Let me make sure this ain't the cycle who makes a thing every day. No, they've been around since 2014. Sure you would, kid. You probably would have put it up for the $6.99. All right, let's see. Oh, gosh, the eBay days of cash in the mail. No returns, best offers, no or nonsense. People are just happy to have found a treasure. I miss those days. Those were good days. You put anything up, it was going to sell. It was nice. And auctions worked then, so... Uh, I'm, I'm still afraid to try auctions because... Well, first off, you only get about a third of what the item's worth at auction. But since it didn't work the last time I tried it, I'm afraid to... I'm curious to see what Josh will get out of his hats and stuff he put up for auction. So. See if it... I'll check that out and see what they're, they sold for, and that'll give me kind of an indication of where it's at, I guess. Uh, sleeping channel, huh? You a sleepwalker? Might be interesting. I've been known to yell profanities in my sleep. <laughs> I am not a sleepwalker, but when I am extremely, extremely tired, it hasn't happened in a while now because I've been getting good sleep, but uh, I will get paralysis. Where you're kind of aware, but you're you're awake, but you're not awake because you can't see. You just kind of think you see the room, but you don't see the room. You're just going by memory, and your memory is always off. 
and sometimes you'll think you'll see a shadow in your in your when you're stuck and that's where people a lot of people will think that they an alien and visited them at night or whatever because when you're in that paralysis state your mind can go freak out because you're like crap why can't i move you're aware kind of like that metallica video what in the one thing where he had no arms no legs can't move but yet he's aware that's what paralysis is so you're you're going by memory of where you are and then you all of a sudden start thinking you're seeing things that are not really there it's pretty wild but how i get myself out of that is i start um screaming not you can't hear me scream and i start shaking but you can't see me shaking until I break it. And then when I break it, I jolt and scream at the same time. And that usually wakes up Jan. <laughs> so. Yeah, paralysis is crazy. I hope to never have paralysis like as a long-term thing. If I ever do, just, just kill me. If it can't be cured, just kill me. Because that's no way to live. Uh, on the dimensions, I just said the other day, maybe that we are we are the ghost in someone else's reality. You can get lost down a rabbit hole. My daughter did shrooms once, and she was telling me she had to flip through a bunch of realities until she found the one she belongs in. So that's interesting. Yeah, and see, I've never done drugs, but I imagine it's kind of like the paralysis thing, too, where your brain just is in this state. And it's playing a lot of tricks on you. I could be wrong, of course, with that. Maybe there are, you can see realities that you can't see normally, but I don't think so. Because I don't think, I don't think our mind's able to go there. Whether it's capable of, I'm not sure. But as the state we are in, is it able to go there? I'd be curious to know if somebody like um, those really smart savant type people who can like the dude who flew over New York City in one glance and then was able to draw the whole city. I would be curious to see their perception on things like that. To see, since they've got parts of their brain that are open that we don't because of a head injury or whatever the case may be, if they experience other things too, I'd be curious to dive into that world. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Conway Twitty is one of the most famous country western singers in history. No wonder. Oh, sorry. Uh, flipping ain't easy. Still has no idea about shutdowns. When 12 hours goes by without a sale, he thinks it's because his shoppers are sleeping. <laughs> yeah, if you notice when you watch this, a lot of people will say that. And to me, when I when I hear that, they just don't have the experience, or maybe they don't ship internationally. Um, they don't have the long-term experience to know what the site is supposed to be running like, uh, to know that people don't sleep in all hours. I mean, you, depending on probably, well, I wouldn't, depending, I guess, how big your store is also has something to do with it, uh, depending on what you got to choose from. But yeah, I mean, I would get sour sales every hour of the day 24 hours a day so yeah when i get those big times with no sales i know something's wrong let's see what last night was uh last night was let's see here so 11 30 was my last sale that's when the offers shut off too right or did i say 10 30 no 11 30 So the offers and the sales shut off at the exact same time at 11.30. See, you can't... There's there's something to that, those patterns. They just can't be random when they're, you know, so close to being exact. Uh, then I got one sale in the 1 o'clock hour, one sale in the 4 o'clock hour, two sales in the 5 o'clock hour, none in the 6, and then one in the 7. And then I started taking offers at 8.53. And had no... Uh, had no straight sales since then. So... 
so not a total shutdown all night, but a big window, 11.30 to say 7.30, had one, two, three, four items sold. So that's more than normal within that time period, so. Uh, hi, James. My sales are great this month. Love those puppies. I just picked up some trucker hats. Nice. Yeah, sales overall are good for me. They're up. So it's just finding those patterns and trying to figure things out as to, you know, what's going on. And uh, is this something we can build off of or if it's just random BS that we're still dealing with, right? So that's what I'm mainly keeping an eye out for now. I'm not worrying too much about it because I'm just listing like crazy every day, drafting like crazy, and just looking for that something that's going to make the light bulb go off and say, hey, da. So right now I'm keeping an eye on that pattern thing. If that becomes a long-term thing, then I will start playing again and say, okay, if I bump my promoted percentage up, say, two points, then my impressions will go up, do the sales go up? And then if that's the case, then we're back in the world of we, where we adjust, we get results because it hasn't been that way for quite a while. So as you know, I get the same amount of sales at 15% as I do at five, seven and 12. So, so I will keep an eye on that for everybody. And then if we're in it, at least in a more stable situation, I'll start building off of that. So, hello from Germany. Hello. It was always fun to fun when you pulled the orders. Yeah, I just haven't done that recently because of time. Just because it's easier just to set the camera here instead of clicking every one and then just you know hitting the splice things. No big deal. But it takes up time on the phone. So if I wanted to go out and bike ride, it ties up my phone longer because I take my phone to listen to music. So it was just quicker to set it up upload it, schedule it, and then I could go. Uh, so yeah. so it's more about what I'm feeling at the moment. If I have time, I'll, I'll do those again here and there. So. Uh, so yeah, I went bike riding yesterday. Have you ever had a red line? Yes, I had a red line once when I was young. I bought from the neighborhood for like 10 bucks or whatever. <laughs> Probably stolen. Hey, James, I got crazy again and listed $300 worth of items last night. And guess what happened? I had a record sales today, 240 Canadian gross. I think I found what I needed to do to get out having a full-time job and do this. Nice. Yeah, um, to get out of a full-time job, this becomes two full-time jobs. So don't forget that. If you want to leave a full-time job, this becomes two full-time jobs because... You become the buyer, the customer service rep. You become uh, the shipper. You become the, uh, what else is there? There's a lot. The accountant, per se, watching your numbers, making sure you're doing things right, making smart decisions. So you're taking on a lot of jobs when you're becoming your own reseller. So don't forget, it's better to work 80 hours for yourself than 40 hours for somebody else. And you may get paid less at the beginning. So remember that. So don't let it get frustrating for you. Um, there's going to be highs and lows. Uh, just keep learning every day. And don't jump too soon. Make sure you got a nice, stable, consistent income coming. What's up, baby girl? How are you? God, I can feel your ribs now in the back. I started giving her more food. What's going on with you? You're getting old, baby. You're getting old. I'm going to have to feed you five times a day. Get some weight on you. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, just, you know. Make sure you've got a, uh, if it's possible, a security blanket built up um, make sure you have several things in place i would say 
um, if you can security somehow, some way, monetarily, make sure you have enough knowledge to source and or a, a nice place to source from. Always remember sources dry up, so have more than one at all times. Um, just trying to think of various little things that people don't really think of too much before they make the jump. Uh, but yeah, don't be discouraged of working 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Because if you enjoy what you do, you never work a day in your life. Slow week for slow week, only two hundred fifty dollars for the week. But thanks to the uh, motivation, three thousand seven hundred sixteen currently listed. By the way, selling on eBay since day one, and don't know jack. Love the content. Thank you. That's awesome. Been a good day today, but sold one on Poshmark for $55. So that really helped my day. My higher priced items don't sell well on eBay, mostly 10 to 20 on eBay. Health is wealth. Do, 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 do. Hello from California. Hello, hello. Hope you feel better, James. You made me laugh so hard when the dreams and sleep idea. <laughs> First thumbs up. It's about dang time. Oh, and we're back to where I was last night. All right. Finally. Lame ear jewelry dangling rope. Some earring I got listed for eight dollars i remember listing earrings so who knows what that's about all right let's get your ship on i think i remembered everything all right so we only got nine orders here so the Susie and the Banshee CD was paid for now without a front cover. Sold for, oh, I took an offer for $540 on that. Maybe I had that for up for $13.99. Did I really take that? I guess I did. Canyon City, Colorado. Huh. I thought I was like eight bucks. I could have swore I took That's odd. I could have swore I took an, that offer for like eight something. Oh, this must be a different one. Okay, this is a different Susan DeBanshee. Okay, this one was only listed for $5.99. So the other one had already paid that I was kind of randomly talking about in a past video. Got it. Confused myself there. It's not hard to do. Next up, we've got the Vail, Colorado advisor. I sold for $12.14, headed to Baltimore, Maryland. Something weird today happened, or this morning when I was going back to sleep. My, uh, it was probably the pee we laying down beside the bed, and it kind of pulls the covers. But the cover snugged around me. And <laughs> for some reason, what popped in my head was thinking... Uh, a couple of times where I felt like uh, that kind of love for my mom, like a like a, almost like a, a protection type of thing when I was a kid, when I was in bed, because I had two situations that happened to me as a kid, and my mom came to my bedside to help me, and for some reason, and maybe it's true because it's just the experiences living in my head like that wasn't my mom so those two incident incidents when they happened it really stood out in my mind that my mom was here helping me 
because I remember just always feeling kind of just, you know, she was usually just sitting at the table smoking and hollering, <laughs> right? So there was two incidents where I felt like a real, like a love, if you will, I guess you could say, um, a warmth. And one of them was when I was little growing, I would get very bad growing pains in my legs at night, in the middle of the night. And they would just wake me up and I'd just wake up crying and screaming. It hurt so bad. And she would come in and rub my legs for me. Uh, and then as I went back to sleep. So that was one. And then another time I had something. I don't know what it was. I never, I don't remember what it was called or anything, but I would have these situations. I didn't write the name of that, where I'd wake up and I couldn't open my eyes. And at first it scared me because I'm like, you know, start screaming like I can't open my eyes. And I was taken to the doctor, but it, my eyes would crust up so bad in the middle of the night for some reason that it would just glue my eyes shut. So the first time, you know, my mom probably used warm water to dab them and stuff and get them for me to open. And then I remember she ended up getting, I don't remember going to the doctor. I just remember her using some kind of medication after that to get the crust off better uh, when I woke up. For some reason, when that happened with the snug, it just reminded me of those two incidents. Enya self-titled cassette. Uh, headed to Saline, Kansas. Sold for $6. $5.99. Yay! Oh, we got one going to Italy. Next up, we've got these Pinewood Derby patches. I sold 10 of these. This is a different variation than the other ones I've been selling. Uh, sold for $12, headed to Pittsford, New York. I think she's really starting to feel her age lately. We'll still get out in front and play, but when we get back in, she just seems dead to the world. She's just asleep. And she's not always doing that comfortable sleep. She's sleeping like that, where you're kind of like, little concern she's on hard floor in the way she's laying she's not flipped up on her back she hasn't done that in about a week or two weeks now so i think she's really starting to feel her age i guess francis howe t-shirt it's been in my store for like seven years or so sold for 640 headed to washington missouri And I think uh, Pee Wee found her. I give him a couple of bigger bones. And I don't think. Yeah. The first time I gave her big bones, her I don't think her belly could handle it too well. And that was weird. What did it say? No, it didn't show up there. It showed up there. It's just like one line. It looked weird, different. Um, so I think it made her belly a little upset. So several days later, when I gave him another, I think she only ate half of it. 
and she I think she tried to hide the other half out out back and this was like three days ago and I think and then Pee Wee must have found it yesterday because I saw him out there chewing on it because I saw him chewing on something I go out there and make sure that's what it was <laughs> because that dog will there was a dead mouse laying on our driveway because we got cats in the neighborhood they'll catch these little mice Courtney goes up, smells it. I thought nothing of it. I started to kick it to the grass. He walks up, smells it, puts it in his mouth, starts to eat it. I'm like, no. Open his mouth and I reach in and I pull the mouse out and throw it away. There was a little piece of paper on the driveway. It looked like a Popeye's inner piece. So it probably smelled like chicken. He ate it. And it smells like food or anything. He's just eating. I'm like, he's going to kill himself got to keep everything away from him. Yeah, so those those bones might be getting to her also <laughs> with her stomach. And maybe even her teeth since she's older. You know, having that chew on them, she, her, she, her teeth and jaws might not be feeling too good either. Are you ready for a medium light? Michael Card CD sold for $5.99 and a John Michael Talbot cassette sold for $5.99. Put a different cover on this. That's pretty nasty. Oh, and also another thing just popped in my head about people who, who, uh, with the, who, you know, notice the overnight sales not being there. A lot of them are probably pretty afraid to say the things I say because the fee, the kickback I get from people is ridiculous. So people might not want that kind of kickback, but that's one thing I say with enough confidence because I know what a normal overnight feels like. Even with 30,000 items. And I have, I'm have i going to be hitting 60,000 soon. So I know what an overnight feels like with 30,000 items. So to have a 60,000 item store and have the, this kind of overnight. I can say with confidence there's something huge going on with the overnights. And that brings a lot of negative people. Saying, you know, that I don't know what I'm talking about, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I know what I'm talking about. But a lot of people don't like that heat. Or they don't want to be told that they don't know what they're talking about. You know? <laughs> they got to make sure they uh, maintain, I guess, a confidence or dominance projection-wise. You know what I mean? So, Little Dippers, 45 sold for $9, headed to Tulsa, Oklahoma. But, because if you're not confident and secure enough you've got to you got to sell it as such you know the difference between me and just some normal people who may not have sold as long as when i say something there's a confident reason why i am saying it and that comes with the luxury of time and volume The volume makes it easier for me. I guess, well, I guess it wouldn't if I mean, you could have less stuff, but yet, well, I did have less stuff. If you just know your sales, you know, you know what the norm's supposed to be. And you have many years of examples to show for. Uh, the Conway Freight hat that sold yesterday. I think he didn't ship it because it was the wrong one. I pulled the wrong one. I pulled, I pulled, 
I pulled the wrong one again. It's supposed to be Conway Truckload. <laughs> I've pulled Conway Freight, saw this one, thought it was the right one, and mixed up my words again. It's supposed to be Conway Truckload. I will do that one. Oh, um, let me go grab it real quick since I'm in the middle of this. Because if I only do one, then it won't add to my list. So T39. Look at that one later. It's taking so long to go through that big ass tote. I'll just do it. I'll just add it to this evening's. Okay. Make it easier and quicker. Instead of all the dead time on the <laughs> video, since I don't edit. Da -da 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 -da. I think that big order that came through was a bunch of hats from a repeat buyer who came in. Gotta love those repeat buyers. <laughs> so that will probably be going to the port in Oregon. Oregon port. A little ditty about Jack and Diane. Arlo's. Spencer. That one, that's not the one that needs resurfaced. Kelly. Rachel. Got this Nike shirt with the uh, different flags on it. Headed to Italy. Sold for nine fifty. Did some bike riding yesterday. Did about seven miles. See how my legs are feeling later. They feel fine now, but maybe go out for a little bit today. Or this evening, I should say. And of course you want a code. Code 
for t-shirt. I got a lot of pictures taken to do. I got my shelves are pretty empty. <laughs> I think I only have like 900 drafts right now. I usually have near 2,500 drafts. So. And somebody asked yesterday. They said you, I thought you could only have 200 drafts, and people always said that for some reason. Like back when I said drafts weren't working right. I'd get all these people come in. You can't have many drafts. You can only have 200 anyway. When it was cutting me off at like 250 or whatever. I'm like, no, you can have 5,000 drafts. So, but yeah, you can have 5,000 drafts. Alrighty, we are at 10 a.m. exactly. I'm at $181, so. Nice, nice, nice. All right, I'm off to the post office and get to working, so. Uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. I'll see you all in the next video. Later.